quick little update here. I know I don't make videos for every patch to record box, but this one seems pretty significant. And so I wanted to make a video and share with everyone. First, I wanna read the release notes. This is the release notes for version 7.2.8. And it was just released today. December 3rd, 2025 was when I recorded this video. The main new feature added four stems, vocal, instrumental, bass, and drums to the stems function. You can now select either three or four stems in the stems mode. Merging duplicate files or tracks is now possible. This is probably my favorite update and I'll explain why. Next is setting up library sync and Rekordbox cloud direct play is now easy with the cloud setup wizard. I can try, I'm really nervous about breaking my cloud setup, but for the good of the cause, I will sign out of my cloud direct play Ooh. and then try to use the cloud setup wizard to sign back in. What was fixed? Enlarged waveforms might not display correctly when changing the layout while beat sync is enabled. Apple Music tracks could not be played in Rekordbox even if allowed playback of tracks with explicit mark was turned on in Apple Music when allow explicit music was turned off in Mac system preferences. They spelled explicit wrong. Another thing fixed on Windows, occasionally unable to play tracks when loading Spotify tracks, you'll get an alert saying you have exceeded your track streaming limit. Hilarious. I never received that error, but I'm glad they fixed that. And improved stability and fixes for other minor issues. What has changed? Apple Music track loading method is now the same for all devices. I didn't know that it was different. Due to this change, beat grids and cue points may become misaligned. If you notice any misalignment, please reanalyze the tracks and reset the cue points. All right, let's have a look. We are in the new record box. This is version 7.2.8. First things first, let's go into the settings, go to extensions, go to stems, enable stems function. And now you can see we have three and four stems options. Let's change it to four stems. And I have prioritized sound quality on. That's the one that I prefer. Everything else stays the same. And now you can see there are one, two, three, and four stem options available. And also you can see in this drop down menu for your pad modes, you can choose stems and it gives you eight performance pads. Looks like you can turn on and off vocal, instrumental, bass, and drums. And you can also do it with the effects, enabling them or disabling them from the performance pads of your controller or mixer. Pretty cool. All right, that's that. Next thing I wanted to look at is the duplicate files merging command. This is actually really interesting to me. Go to file, go to display all duplicated files. It says duplicated tracks were found. My library is actually pretty tidy. And so, yeah, it only found these drums from the drum swap feature. There's redundant drum loops in my library. And so it looks like if I were to take this one and I'm guessing I need to shift click. Yep. Shift click to select these two. You can now see there's a button that says merge duplicate files. If I click on that, it says the selected files will be merged. Please select a representative file as the merging destination. So I want this one to be my destination. And then we'll say merge. The files have been merged, okay? And then boom, there's only one, one file. And it says there's 15 tracks. So if I say, okay, I'm guessing if I go back to display all duplicated files, breaks one is taken care of. Let's see if I can do them all as a batch, like just select everything and then merge duplicate files. All right, I see. So there's these there's these little like Scantron dots. Who took Scantron tests as a kid? Number two pencil, fill in the bubbles, perfect. Those are my target ones that I want it to be. And then I hit merge, it's merging. Selected files have been merged, okay. And then boom, there they all are, it's all merged. Look at that. So now I'm guessing if I go into this 
and choose display all duplicate files, no duplicate tracks were found. How about that? That is dope. Probably my favorite feature in this new update. All right, let's have a look at the cloud setup wizard newly added in this update. So let's go ahead and hit start. All right, select all DJ equipment you use. I use these, I use these, I use these, and I use these. Okay, next. Select all source containing tracks you use as a DJ. I use these, I use these, these, and these, and these. Okay. Which devices have you installed Rekordbox on? Multiple computers. Would you like to use cloud features to back up your tracks? Absolutely, yes, I would. Okay. Setup complete. Cloud Library Sync is enabled. Using device authentication is enabled. Using Rekordbox Cloud Direct Play is enabled. Dropbox is logged in. All right. Looks like I'm good to go. That was pretty easy. Yes, Rekordbox 7.2.8. Pretty straightforward release. Pretty cool features. I'm really enjoying the baseline separation and four stems. Curious what that means for Rekordbox DJ hardware going into the future. Feeling for FLX 10 users a little bit. If they bought those within the last couple of years, they're literally designed for three stem separation. And so now that Rekordbox offers a four stem option, it puts the FLX 10 in a pretty interesting position. All in all, this is a very welcomed update. I would have liked to see compatibility with Mac OS Tahoe by now. And I would also like to see improved stem quality like everybody else, but I'm very happy with the library management. And I'm also interested in this one library thing around the corner.